once again. Now, so much of the government's budget pitch revolves around small business, as we've been saying. $1.7 billion worth of tax incentives uh, going to firms and operators with annual turnover of less than $2 million. They're being asked to spend up on new equipment worth up to $20,000 in the hope their business can grow and they can hire new staff. So to explain more about how that plan will work and what the government expects in return, our reporter James Bennett's been talking to the Small Business Minister, Bruce Bilson. Bruce Bilson, how many jobs will this package create? Well, we've got to recover the 519,000 jobs lost in small business under the previous Labor government. That's our first ambition, recover those jobs that were lost under Labor, put those livelihoods back into the economy and then build the momentum so that small businesses decide what their capacity is to grow, to recruit more. We're enabling that environment and we're working with the small business community. You're spending billions of dollars on this. Surely there must be some government modelling on how many jobs you expect this will create. Well, what we're keen to do is get those conditions right. I'm not going to give you a precise number because that's not within my gift to give you. This is about supporting small businesses with an inclination to recruit, to actually turn that into action, with an ambition to grow their business, to turn that into economic activity. So it's about enabling small businesses to make that decision for themselves with the support and encouragement of the government. That's what we're on about and that's what our longer term agenda is. Accelerated depreciation, claim any business expense immediately up to $20,000. How much is that going to cost? Well, we've already got that tax infrastructure in place. There's already been an ability to instantly write off asset purchases up to 1000 Remember, Labor had a bit of a scheme too as they tried to put a sweetener on the table to deal with the sourness of some of their new taxes, like the mining and carbon taxes, and the removal of a tax incentive for small business. They put something on the table, wasn't funded, and it was designed to distract people from other harm. This is sitting alongside a tax reduction, a tax incentive for small business, the $20,000 there for each and every purchase for a small business with a turnover of under $2 million. Who qualifies? Well, it's all small businesses with a turnover of under $2 million. Now, that's 96% of Australian businesses qualify for this measure. Now, in addition to that measure, there's also some specific depreciation I, opportunities from the farming we just, sector as just well. Just to, yeah. to particularise that, obtaining an ABN is a 10-minute exercise on the internet. That's got to be vulnerable to rotting, isn't it? How will you police this? Well, there are checks and balances, and you need to be actively trading. So having an ABN is one part of it. You actually need to be involved in economic activity. How These are quite... Well, we've already got those things about is vast it a minimum, returns. And it's a minimum amount of money that needs to, to come through? You need active business, which is with an ABN and lodging vast returns and the like with the tax office, all perfectly familiar, common and existing arrangements. So the small business community and the accountants and those that are advising them know of these existing arrangements. This is an enormous incentive for them to see an opportunity and to move on it. According to the ABS, some 40% of small businesses between 2003 and 2007 failed. You're depending on this sector for economic growth, for revenue growth. What happens if they fail? Well, we're getting the environment, the entrepreneurial ecosystem right. That's why removing the carbon tax was important. That's why our red tape reduction agenda, which takes people away from their business to do the business of government, that's why that's important. That's why we're doing work on the competitive environment so it's fair and healthy. That's what franchising reform was about. Unfair contract terms, right to repair, the, the food and grocery code of conduct. It's all about getting that entrepreneurial ecosystem, the environment within which small businesses operate, to be as supportive and as encouraging as possible. It's not within my gift to make every business succeed and enterprising people know that. So what does success look like? Is it a drop in the unemployment rate? Well that's our ambition, but you know at the moment we're seeing three times the job creation rate in the first year of the Abbott government than we saw under the last year of Labor. We've got record numbers of businesses starting. We're seeing some encouraging signs in, in housing and construction, in retail, in hospitality. We're seeing export volumes increase. We've got trade agreements that open the door to hundreds of millions of new prospective customers. We've got more women than blokes starting businesses now, mumpreneurs turning their spare bedroom into an enterprise. This is a great time to be engaged in wealth creation and nurturing opportunities. Bruce Bilson, thank you for your time.
Thanks, James. So now we'll pick up on...